Hey guys, it's Mike here from Grow Indoors 365. I want to show you the latest update on what's currently going on inside the grow tent. So the last time I came to you guys was Friday, November 4th. So within, what's today? Today is the 13th, I believe. Today is Sunday. And this is what's going on in the tent. I mean, uh, significant growth since the last time I've showed you what's happening inside the tent. And I'm actually really excited on what's going on in here. Everything's looking beautiful. Everything's looking perfect. Let me actually just brighten this up a little bit for you guys. There we go. So, I mean, take a look at those guys. That's awesome here. I'm going to do it a little bit like that. There we go. This will be the thumbnail. <laughs> Um, just check it out. I mean, uh, from last time, if you actually watched the previous video, you'll see that a week ago these guys were seriously just, just, just rising up. They were, they were basically little seedlings that, from this type of view, you really couldn't see them rising up. And now, we, we really do have significant growth, beautiful colors, amazing greenery. I mean, this is very, very light lettuce, very buttery. This is called pirate lettuce. It's really nice and I, I love that it's got these type of colors to it. Um, it really really comes out really nice. Let me just give you guys a little close up on these. Let's take a look um, what's going on in the roots. They're looking pretty good. I haven't fed the roots in, um, in a little bit and actually you can actually see you see that green line? Basically, right around that point is where the water level started out about a week ago. So you can see that the plants are eating, uh, drinking a lot of water. You always have these little like runts, okay? Just like this, where for whatever reason, either they're inside of the reservoir, they're just not getting enough oxygen, or I'm not sure what happens. But time to time, as it's actually interesting. Top left right here top left right here and uh, I believe you know I, I can't tell if let me see here I can't tell if this is my no this is not even my 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 newest reservoir but time to time because the way that the holes are created it basically kind of like divots in and um, when you actually pick this up as you can see very minimal root growth there everything else is supreme root growth as you can see even right in the middle part where a lot of the oxygen is coming off you have significant root growth, but overall, sometimes these top ones right here just don't work out. But as you can see, I have a lot of pirate lettuce. I kind of went overboard on the pirate lettuce here. Then we have three more back there. And here I have my romaine. Okay, so as again, look at, look at what's going on in the middle part. Okay, because this kind of divots down, unfortunately, um, you have these enormous plants growing right in the middle. This one's doing really well too. This one's kind of just like doing its own thing, but hopefully it'll grow. I mean, honestly, these are good enough to eat right now. You can literally pick the leaves off and eat them right now. So I have, what do I have, three, five. So I got 10. I have 10 romaines. And check out, check out these guys, okay? This is, um, this is my broccoli. This is my broccoli happening here. And I have four broccoli plants. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen to them when they get really big. Hopefully before that happens, uh, this lettuce will be ready to be trimmed up and eaten. But the way that I actually consume the lettuce, it's, like, it's almost like every dinner, every night, or maybe for lunch. I come in, I trim off the head, and... Um, I enjoy that salad for that evening. So sometimes for, for the amount of salad that I have here, it takes a little bit of time to consume everything. Not as easy as you guys think. But you can also juice with it. It's really nice. Plenty of water in them for a good juice. But uh, I'm actually really excited just to see how the broccolis come out. And I'm really, really excited to start out. Uh, I have some uh, watermelon seeds that I'm going to be doing. So literally... I will be um, growing some watermelon. Maybe I might, I might even have to get a different tent. And uh, for everybody that's currently out there that's been asking me regarding the new website with the lighting, with the reservoirs, with the tents and anything else, it's coming. Um, 
everything is coming. We're getting everything set up. We're getting the store set up. Just got to get the items onto the store. And, uh, you know, you guys could check that out and go from there. And, um, you know, happily, if, if you, if you want to schedule a consultation regarding your current space and what you're looking to achieve, and uh, I'll let you know exactly what you need to, minimal, uh, to minimize your spending, but to also achieve the greatest possibility of growth within whatever uh, growing area you have. So as you can see here, I have seven beautiful cucumber plants. All right, let me give you actually a closer look. Let's actually take a look at the, at the root system here. They're doing okay. Not too crazy. But again, these are, these might be like two weeks old. You know, um, sometimes they just get a, a slower head start, but uh, once they really get going, like in the next two weeks or a week, they really start to sh uh, thrive. Um, but overall, they're doing really well. I mean, you have uh, multiple sets of leaves already. Let's get a closer shot here multiple sets of leaves and uh, from right here I mean basically this is the initial bud let me show you right there this is the initial bud this will start stemming out and that's where the growth process begins and then you'll start having these like little little thin uh, arms that will start reaching for the sky I might actually what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take this one light here and add it to, to this area just so we're uh, really maximizing the light activity down here below because I think just one light with two bulbs is just not enough uh, spectrum for the cucumbers because they do need, they require significant light to really develop well. So there you have it. That's, that's the current status from one week. I mean, if you guys didn't know what it looked like prior to today, uh, look back into the channel. Look back into the previous video that was uploaded, which was November 4th and you'll understand of what's been uh, you know what's been happening and how the plants have been developing I'm really happy about how they're actually developing they're looking really really good and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you leave me a comment down below happy to uh, discuss whatever questions you might have and uh, keep on keep on trying to grow organically and indoors guys indoor growing is is gonna be the way of the future I mean it's been happening for God knows how long but there's so many more tools and um, tons of education such as these videos to allow you guys to grow indoors and you don't have to schlep down to your local grocery store to get lettuce that's being imported you know 5,000 miles away from your house and being trampled on by rats and humans and all kinds of disgustingness and especially those prices that you have to pay at the supermarket. So again, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you like my video, and make sure you share it with anybody that you think might benefit from it. Talk to you guys soon.